decorated Auburn Tigers football coach Tommy Turbeville added another big win to his resume on Tuesday. He scored a Senate victory in the state of Alabama. Turbeville unseated one-term Democrat Doug Jones after a primary battle with former U.S. Attorney General Jeff Sessions, marking the only GOP flip of a Democratic-held Senate seat in the general election. The senator-elect joins us now. Coach, good morning. Good morning, Ainsley. Good morning How are to you? you. I'm I'm doing well. Thank you so much. You know, when I saw that you were running, I said, "Oh, he's going to definitely win." I know you're just so revered and loved, especially in that state, but all over the country. What was it? What made you decide to to get in this race? Well, my dad was a war hero, Angela. At age 18, he landed at Normandy and drove a tank across Europe wow. and was awarded five bronze stars, Purple Heart. Actually, died in active service at age 53. I'm an American. I believe in this country, and of course, I've had a job for 40 years, and I've noticed all the problems that we're having across the country and when I got out of coaching a few years ago I wanted to give back this job was given to a, a Democrat a couple of years ago here in Alabama he didn't represent what we represent here and so for two years I've hit the ground running and I hadn't slowed down my wife said don't come home do you win so finally I got to come <laughs> home last night so it it's been a hard run, but I tell you what, I'm excited about this. I'm excited about the future. And just think about, I've got one, used to have one vote in the country of 340 million. Now I've got one vote of 100. And, yeah. uh, you know, I'm looking forward to casting my vote for this country to make it a better country in the future. It's a big responsibility. What do you think is going to happen in the Senate? I know it's expected to stay Republican. Well, we need to keep the Senate on the Republican side. You know, it's uh, it's very important that we... We, we put up that firewall for what's going to happen in the future, but I feel good about it. I feel good about Senator Perdue in, in Georgia, uh, Senator Loeffler from Georgia. I think we've got a great opportunity in some, uh, some other areas, but, you know, we just got to fight hard. You know, there's a lot of things out there that's against us, but, uh, you know, I, I, I'm just excited about this. I'm excited about working with the people in Washington. I'm going to be a listener. You know, as a coach, you got to be a communicator and listening first instead of talking. So I learned that dealing with 120 kids every year. So excited about the future. I have a friend that is conservative and he's a very well-known coach and uh, he doesn't want to get into politics even though some people are asking him to because he's scared that it'll divide um, all, the, all the young men that he's coached over the years and he doesn't want them to know where he stands politically. Did you think about that? Yeah, you know, I had some of my players come out were disappointed that uh, I was a President Trump supporter, but uh, you know, I've studied this for years. Uh, I'm a big Rush Limbaugh fan. I believe in conservative values, and I believe it about talking about them. Uh, we've got to fight back as conservative Republicans. We can't be quiet any longer. We've got to stand up for the values of the people of this country. There's 340 million people here, greatest country on the face of, the earth, of this earth. If you were born here, you hit the lottery. And so we've got to have people stand up for God values, Christian values, and the values of moral across this country. If we don't do that, we're going to lose this country as we know it. Well, um, I know your dad would be so proud of you. I'm glad that he served our country, and now you're giving back as well. Thank you so much for everything you, you're doing. Thank you, Angela. You're welcome. My dad was a coach, too, so I know y'all are good people. You love your players, and you love country. God bless you. Thank you.